Okay, this smartphone comes with the world's first Dimensity 9400 50MP triple camera, 50MP telephoto macro camera, IP69 rating and guess, guess what makes this so so attractive? Like this is all the flagships launched in 2024. It is smaller than all of them and wait for it, it has the biggest battery amongst all these 2024 flagships. This is Vivo's exclusive flagship from China, Vivo X200 Pro Mini. It might, might not launch in India like, like this video to force Vivo to bring this here. This is the best no compromise flagship that India deserves. I mean, come on. First of all, it doesn't do anything flagshipy. Like it comes with a big box, feels grand. You open it, you get a 90 watt charger, a charger for a flagship. Like. Vivo should learn from flagship brands. Type-C to Type-C cable, a case, like I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is a proper flagship unboxing. And see, Indian smartphone space follows the Chinese smartphone trend closely. And this is the first flagship phone that has launched in China. So not only this is Vivo's first mini flagship, but it is an important one if you're looking to buy a smartphone next year. First of all, before you go at me and like, Pratik, come on. 6.31 inch is not a mini compact phone. Look, if I keep it side by side with the legendary iPhone 12 mini, it is big. And looking at the fate of the iPhone 12 mini, nobody, nobody is making sub six inch smartphone. So if you think so, go get a cup of warm coffee, go back to bed and sleep, good night. I'll clean shave if someone launches a sub six inch phone. You guys, you guys don't, you guys don't want to see that. You guys don't want to see that. This Vivo X200 Pro Mini is still one-handed. It has a matte glass finish, flat metallic frames. So getting it out of the pocket, taking it from the desk, the phone feels compact. The only nitpicking is the fingerprint sensor is optical. So using it at night still feels a bit slow. In fact, the position is also lower. So it would have been nice if it was exactly here. But considering that this cost only 55,000 in Chinese pricing, that's quite acceptable. It has 6.31 inch, 120Hz, 1.5K AMOLED display. The display is LTPO. So when you are idle, it stays at 1Hz. And the moment you start scrolling, it goes back to 120Hz. Depending on what you do, the display adjusts the refresh rate from 1 to 120Hz. So that saves battery. It's even bright enough to take outdoors, gets to a peak brightness of 4,500 nits. So mostly all of the display specs is flagshipy. Now the Vivo X200 Pro Mini is also important because this is starting three important trends in upcoming 2025 flagships. As you are a wise buyer, you must know about them. All the flagships as far as we can see from renders, leaks and Chinese launches are going towards flatter frames. They will be flatter displays, so no more curved display in flagship. The second interesting trend you will see in 2025 flagships is battery. This phone being the tiniest still carries a bigger battery than any flagship in India till 2024. It has a 5700 mAh battery and the reason being silicon carbon. Silicon carbon is the new battery trend. Now, battery tech is super simple. You have one negative node, one positive node. You can consider a battery to be a city. And these positive and negative nodes are two different places. Consider these lithium ions as workers. So when you use your phone, these workers go from their home to the factory to work for you. And when you use your phone enough and your battery goes down to 0%, now these workers are tired. So they go back from the factory to their home to rest, which is from positive to negative terminal when you charge your phone. This keeps on going through. So the key here is to pack as much lithium ions as you can in this much space. So China is the hub of battery and battery innovation. So the new silicon carbon batteries can pack in more ions in the same space. The batteries are now smaller, but has more capacity. And this trend you will see in all 2025 flagships. They will have mostly around 6,000 to even 6,500 mAh battery without increasing the size of the phone. In fact, these new batteries even charge efficiently. The Vivo X200 Pro Mini charges 100% with a 90 watt charger in about 45 minutes, which is crazy given the bigger 5700 mAh battery. So prepare for bigger batteries in 2025 flagships, except you know, the one and only iPhone. Maybe they'll get in 2027, best battery in iPhone. Another trend in 2025 flagships will be IP69 rating. The Vivo X200 Pro Mini has IP69 plus IP68 and you'll be like, what is IP69? Well, it can sustain higher pressure water. It can even be kept in boiling hot water in microwave and you'll be like, who does that? Well, companies think that different people use smartphones in different challenging conditions. So if you are that different person, yay! And I just feel that IP69 sounds good. <laughs> Now, the camera is where Vivo just kills. Like last year, we did a video on Vivo X100 Pro and Vivo X100 Ultra, which didn't launch in India. And these were taking better photos than Samsung and iPhone. 
And even you guys in the comments who are real Vivo flagship smartphone users, even you were impressed with the photos on the X100 series. So again, here it's the same. You get a 50 megapixel main camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide, 50 megapixel 3.2x telephoto camera, which is also again a macro camera. And just look at the photos. I'll just let you have a look at them. Those black and white photos are just love. And I was also impressed that this year they have retained the same camera software features and even added on them. Like first of all, there is portrait video mode where you can still shoot in 1080p which sucks. But leave that aside. You can adjust the focus in post. You can keyframe and adjust the focus point. In fact, at times when we shoot shots in portrait video mode, the blur doesn't come out nice. So you can in fact remove the blur altogether in the editing. So that's nice. There is also vocal enhancement mode. So this is before vocal enhancement mode and now Dinesh Ji will turn vocal enhancement on. So now this is on and the audio should get slightly better. You should hear me slightly better. There's also this snapshot mode which literally freezes time and you get crazy photos like these. And if you swipe up from the main camera app, there's also this vintage camera app called humanistic camera mode. You can quickly adjust settings like a DSLR, take photos. In fact, you can switch between presets that you have decided, which is quite similar to rotating the knob on a DSLR. The only thing is I wish all of these modes were either easily available in a swipe or imagine this. It's based on AI and depending on the situation, it automatically kicks in that mode. Like if I'm shooting a fast moving object, it automatically switches to the snapshot mode because personally, it's hard to remember and switch to every single mode while you're taking photo in real life. So up until here, camera build everything is top notch. But this compact phone also has some downsides. Now I know I said this is a no compromise phone, but this particular downside is something which you can live with. Now this is the world's first phone to come with flagship Dimensity 9400, 12 GB LPDDR5X RAM, 250 GB UFS 4.0 storage. Now Dimensity 9400 is a powerful chip. Like the bigger Vivo X200 Pro almost touches 30 lakh in Antutu. In fact, we also have a Snapdragon 8 Elite phone for testing. It scores around 27, 28 lakh. But this right here, almost crosses 25 lakh. Even in CPU throttling tests, the phone throttles. Even in benchmarks like 3D Mark, the stability is 50%-ish. So there is frame drop. Now the good news is, although the benchmark scores are not that high, the phone doesn't heat. So Vivo is trying to limit the performance to avoid heat. And honestly, these new Android flagship chips are so powerful that I'm fine with better battery and thermals rather than full on performance. But you know, more can only be said once the phone arrives in India. Plus the phones comes with origin OS, which is based on latest Android 15. Now Vivo phones in India come with Funtouch OS. So this thing is China exclusive. So what features will come or not come in Funtouch OS 15 is a guesswork. We are still testing Funtouch OS 15. So let us know if there are enough people and we could make a video on it. So what's the conclusion? See, Vivo X200 Pro Mini costs about 55,000 in China. If it comes to in India, it might be around 65,000 rupees. And looking at the condition of mini phones, iPhone shut down the mini iPhone, Asus killed the smaller Zenfone smartphone. So under six inch phone is a no, no. But a 6.3 inch phone at 65,000, the timing is right. See, Vivo has just launched their first foldable in India. Really good. Vivo has the number one smartphone market share currently in India. So the popularity of Vivo is at an all time high. This smartphone launch in India wouldn't be a pro move, but a mini risk. You get the point. Prateek, subscribe for all the smartphone coverage. See you in the next video. Pew, pew, pew.